Let's have a little play with Dash Master and see what we've just released today. So one of the coolest new things, I think, is this new module called Webcam. And what you'll notice is all the modules are now laid out differently, a little bit easier to see what's native, what's third party, and what we call the vanity ones. But I'm going to stick with the native modules for now, and we'll take a look at this new Webcam module. So just a heads up that this will only work on the current computer. It's not going to stream your webcam across the network or across the world. It's just going to work on this computer here. If I save that, you'll see I have a drop down with all of the webcams connected to this computer. I have a couple here and I can just choose one right now, the studio display camera. And after a few seconds, you'll see the webcam pop up. There's me. But I want to show you something even cooler. Behind me here, I have an NDI uh, bird dog camera. So if I switch my webcam and then I can choose NDI video from this drop down here. In fact, in the background, I'm also running this NDI virtual input. And if I just open up that software, you can see I've configured up the virtual input to be the bird dog camera. And now I'll head back to Dash Master and I can hit NDI video from the drop down. And after a few seconds, you can see my NDI camera. So now this is a perfect way to show an NDI source on a local Dash Master dashboard. Again, if I open this up on a different computer, the same dashboard, you wouldn't see the NDI camera. It's just working on this one uh, Chrome tab here, but it's pretty cool. Works really nicely. Other things that are new, of course, if you do want to send a video signal anywhere around the network or beyond, you can use our new video.ninja module as well. So in here, you can choose to go for a scene or a solo and paste in a room name and a room password and you can see the Video Ninja session pop up. So you can see here on Video.Ninja, I have added myself as a guest. I'll just move that out of the way for now. And I'm coming in here as a little panelist for the show. And I can just grab the ID of my guest here, copy to clipboard, head into Dash Master, and then I can choose maybe just a solo link room name would be I'll come back to that in a second I'll just got paste in my guest ID I know the password is one two three four five solid password there and what else did I need oh yes my room name which was DM 2k test room copy that paste that in here hit save and here you can see me pop up hello this is my solo link but I could also add something else instead like a scene if I was to create one of those in video.ninja and the last new module to show is the new Twitter module. I know Twitter's just crumbling and falling apart, but while it's still a thing, we've added support for it. And uh, in here you can add a handle or a list. I'll choose handle, paste in the here to record um, Twitter, and then I'll choose a dark theme. And I also only want to choose the, let's say, recent two tweets. Hit save on that. It'll take a few seconds to load up. And now you can see the last two things I've tweeted. It's been a while since I tweeted anything. I'm not really using it much myself, but maybe you do and you want to show a Twitter account right here on your dashboard. The last thing to show is these new share options for pro users. So right now the behavior of Dash Master is if I copy this dashboard link, paste it into an incognito tab where I'm not logged into Dash Master, you can see that I can take a look at what's on that dashboard. Makes sense, right? And of course, if I was to jump in, make a change to a module, let's say I'll just choose this satellite map here, you can see it pops up for the viewer over here, the person who's not logged in to Dash Master. With our new share options here, I can choose to have it at the default behavior, which is what you saw before. Anyone with the link can see the dashboard, but I could pop in and say only me. I only want me to see the dashboard. And you can see over here that the person who's not logged in will lose access to that dashboard, which is really nice. And additionally, I can also choose the specific people here. So if I jump into that, I can type in an email address of anyone with a Dash Master account, and they can now see this dashboard. So I could add in my buddy at gmail.com, hit enter, and they will be added to this list here. Like I said, anyone who wants to see this now needs to have a Dash Master 2K account, which is easy and free to grab. And then they can actually log in through this option here and see that dashboard. So only you and them will be able to see it. Alrighty, I hope you do enjoy these new updates to Dash Master 2K. And one reminder is that we have lots of documentation now added over on our docs site. So you can run in there and see how all these things work. For example, video.ninja, you can jump into that, take a look 
and see how you add scenes and solo views and all that good stuff right over on dashmaster2k.com. See you in the next one. Bye.